Okay, YouTube, this is the way I age my paper. What you're looking at is a cookie sheet, and I have in the center, well, actually over there to the left, you see a coffee filter and leftover coffee and grounds. Then I'll take my sheet of paper, I set it in there like this, and I just let it get coated with all kinds of liquid and grounds. And I'll leave the grounds on there, and I kind of squish it up like this. Then I stick it onto another cookie sheet like this. You can always add more grounds, more liquid to it before you put it in the oven. I put it in a 350 degree oven for 10 minutes. And you can see some here that these have been in there. They're a little bit crispy, crunchy like. I very carefully open them up and this is what I get. Super duper easy. You do have to use a little bit heavier paper if you're using paper that is like old copy paper. When you unfold it like this, you do need to be very gentle with it. If you have a fear that it's going to tear, uh, simply spritz it a little bit with some water as you unfold it and then leave it flat for a while. But this has worked great oh, just as every time I do it. I thought I would share this with you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Okay, something else I wanted to mention. Uh, while I've got my iron out, I'll go ahead and show you this. After I take the papers out of the oven, and I like to have mine fairly dry. See how crunchy that sounds? Like that. If you have wet spots in there, you can let it dry a little bit longer. But what will happen is when you get ready to unfold it, those areas just might tear. So I make sure that mine are dry. I spread it out like this. And then I go ahead and use a hot iron and I iron it. The coffee grounds fall off as you're doing this. And I just sweep them aside. Now if you're afraid of uh, some kind of additional smell or coffee smell, something like that, uh, there is a product, and this is it, that you can get at most of the fabric stores. It's a very, very light, fresh smell. I guess you could also use a Febreze if you wanted to. But with this, I just go ahead and give it a little spray, like that. And then I'll come in here with my iron and start ironing it out, like so. And this works very, very well. Once I get a stack of them done and ironed, I go ahead and set them inside of an old book. And you can see here I've got there's a stack that are done. And it just really turns out nice. Okay, I hope this helps give you some additional information. Easy peasy. Catch you later. Bye-bye.